Real wages in the UK grew about 2% in the year to February 2024. This is a healthy growth rate, one that would have been respectable back in the good old days before the global financial crisis, and it accounts for pretty much all of the real wage growth we've had in this country for the past 16 years. And when I say real wages, I mean the amount that an ordinary worker can buy with their pay packet. What makes this even more remarkable is that while real wages are going up, productivity is actually falling. It fell by 0.6% per worker in the past year. So how can it be that real wages, what people can buy, is going up, and what with productivity, what people produce, is going down? Well, in the long run, productivity is the main determinant of real wages. But over the short run, we can have some other factors um, driving real wages as well. And there are two particularly important factors. The first one is to do with the amount of money that employers need to put aside for their workers' pensions. This had been increasing very rapidly over recent years, and that's because pension schemes were in deficit and employers needed to plug those deficits um, with extra payments. And those payments meant that wages were probably a bit lower than otherwise. Those um, extra payments are now tailing off as uh, the rise in interest rates has made pension schemes no longer in deficit. So that's the first factor. The second factor is the terms of trade. That's the price of the things that the UK buys on world markets compared to the price of the things it sells on world markets. And the price of the things we buy has been falling. So you'll have seen over the past year, past two years, uh, after the invasion of Ukraine, uh, prices of things like food and energy go up and they're coming back down. And that means the purchasing power of UK workers um, has gone up. So those are the two big factors. And when we take them all together, it looks like real wages are roughly at the level you'd expect given productivity. It's possible that these tailwinds continue for a few more months, but if we want to uh, have real wage growth um, like we did in the old days for more than just a few months, we're going to need to solve the UK's productivity problem. And for more on that, I recommend that you read our book, Ending Stagnation.